Known for his quick wit and political insight, Seth Meyers has built a career that's both entertaining and thought-provoking, from his early days on Saturday Night Live to his current. But today, we're going beyond the jokes and the monologues to explore the luxurious world he's crafted thanks to years of hard work and talent. Join us as we tour Seth's magnificent mansion, a stunning property that mixes modern elegance with ultimate comfort, offering a perfect retreat from his hectic TV schedule. As we dive into Seth's career milestones and reveal his impressive net worth, you'll get a glimpse into how a comedian turned late night host has transformed his craft into a life of luxury. Get ready for an exclusive look at the man behind the desk and the life he's built. Seth Meyers, an accomplished American comedian, actor, and television host, has built a noteworthy career with a net worth of $25 million. Best known for hosting Late Night with Seth Meyers, he earns an impressive annual salary of $5 million, largely due to the show's popularity and his sharp, witty commentary on current events. His ability to blend humor with insightful political and cultural analysis, along with his engaging interviews, has made Late Night a go-to destination for late night television fans. Beyond his hosting duties, Meyer's career spans various films and TV shows, adding to his growing income and increasing his visibility in the entertainment industry. Additionally, Myers has expanded his influence behind the scenes by taking on producing roles, including work on his own show. This shift into producing has not only boosted his earnings, but also granted him more creative control, allowing him to shape content in new and exciting ways while investing in projects that align with his vision. Seth Myers, born on December 28, 1973, in Evanston, Illinois, has become a household name thanks to his work on Saturday Night Live, SNL, and his late night talk show, Late Night with Seth Myers. Raised in a family with diverse roots and a strong emphasis on education, Myers' journey to success is a blend of talent, hard work, and timing, with key moments shaping his rise in the entertainment industry. Myers' early life was marked by several relocations. His father, Lawrence Myers Jr., worked in finance, while his mother, Hilary Clare, taught French. Seth's family first moved from Evanston to Okemos, Michigan, and later settled in Bedford, New Hampshire. Growing up with a younger brother, Josh Myers, who also became an actor, Seth was surrounded by a family that valued both creativity and intellectual pursuits. Myers attended Edgewood Elementary School in Michigan before continuing his education at Manchester High School in New Hampshire. After high school, he went on to Northwestern University in Illinois, just outside of Chicago, where his interest in comedy flourished. At Northwestern, Myers joined Phi Gamma Delta and became a member of the Me O Show, the university's improv comedy troupe. His passion for comedy only grew leading him to pursue opportunities with Improv Olympic, a well-regarded comedy club, and eventually, Boom Chicago, an Amsterdam-based comedy troupe. These experiences were pivotal in shaping his comedic style, providing him with a platform to refine his talents in improvisation and sketch comedy. It was during his time at Boom Chicago that Myers caught the attention of scouts from Saturday Night Live. His comedic skills, honed through years of improv work, were a perfect fit for the show. In 2001, Myers joined SNL as a cast member, quickly becoming a fan favorite. His ability to seamlessly combine humor with sharp, timely commentary made him a standout in the ensemble. Myers' role on SNL evolved significantly over the years. By 2005, he took on a more prominent writing role, becoming a supervising writer and later a co-writer alongside Tina Fey and Andrew Steele. His writing contributions were integral to some of the show's most memorable sketches. In 2006, 
Myers became the head writer of SNL, a position he held until 2013. During this time, he also took over Tina Fey's iconic Weekend Update segment, first alongside Amy Poehler, and later Solo. The Weekend Update segment, under Myers' leadership, garnered critical acclaim for its witty, incisive political commentary and rapid-fire jokes. By 2013, Myers was chosen to take over Late Night from Jimmy Fallon, who had moved on to host The Tonight Show. Myers' first episode of Late Night aired in February 2014, with Amy Poehler as his first guest. His transition from SNL to Late Night Television was a natural one, as his comedic timing, sharp political commentary, and ability to connect with guests seamlessly translated to the new format. One of his first decisions as host was to enlist Fred Armisen, also an SNL alum, to lead the show's house band, the 8G Band. The band's unique blend of humor and musical talent quickly became a hallmark of the show. The COVID-19 pandemic presented a unique challenge for late-night shows, and Late Night with Seth Meyers was no exception. In March 2020, the show was temporarily put on hold due to pandemic-related restrictions. However, Myers quickly adapted, filming from home and continuing to engage his audience through remote broadcasts. During this time, Myers' children made occasional appearances on the show, bringing a personal touch to his broadcast that resonated with viewers. By September 2020, Myers was able to return to the studio, resuming his regular hosting duties. Myers' contract with NBC initially stipulated that he would host late night through 2021. However, in a move that reflected both his success and popularity, NBC and Myers agreed to extend his hosting duties through at least 2025. His ability to maintain relevance in an ever-evolving entertainment landscape, alongside his reputation for intelligent humor and commitment to both his craft and his audience, ensures that Seth Meyers will remain a central figure in late-night television for years to come. Additionally, Seth Meyers has also invested significantly in luxury real estate, further cementing his financial stability and lavish lifestyle. Apartment in West Village, New York City. In 2013, Seth Meyer and his wife, Alexi, made a noteworthy investment when they purchased a condo in New York City's highly coveted West Village. The couple paid a significant over $3,500,000 for the property, which was located in a charming pre-war building constructed in the 1930s. Situated on the 17th floor of this historic structure, the condo not only offered an abundance of space and classic style, but also provided stunning panoramic views of both the Hudson River and the upscale West Village neighborhood. The condo's interior blends vintage charm with modern updates, creating an inviting and stylish atmosphere. As you step inside the two-bedroom, two-bathroom unit, you're immediately greeted by a spacious entry hall complete with a vintage coat closet. This area flows seamlessly into the expansive 26-foot-wide sunken living room where three south-facing windows bathe the space in natural light throughout the day. A cozy fireplace further enhances the inviting ambiance of the room, making it perfect for relaxing or entertaining guests. Adjacent to the living room is a separate dining area that comfortably seats up to four people. This dining space is conveniently located near the open kitchen, which is both practical and aesthetically pleasing. The kitchen boasts white cabinets with elegant brass handles, a farmhouse sink, an under-counter wine cooler, and a full-size refrigerator, features that cater to both functionality and style. The condo's layout also includes two spacious bedrooms, each with its own ensuite bathroom, offering both comfort and privacy. One of the bathrooms is equipped with a large steam shower a luxurious feature that adds to the home's appeal. The apartment also benefits from an abundance of closet space, with two generously sized closets ensuring ample storage. 
The building itself is also packed with desirable amenities, including a full-time doorman, which provides an added layer of convenience and security. For residents who enjoy outdoor space, the building offers a rooftop terrace where they can unwind and take in views of the surrounding neighborhood. Additionally, the building is pet-friendly, catering to those with furry companions. The condo is directly across from Abingdon Square Park, offering an added sense of tranquility and green space in an otherwise bustling urban environment. Into late 2017, and the Myers decided to list their beloved condo for sale. Within just a month, the property was sold for the full asking price of $4,500,000, a $975,000 gain on their original investment. The sale reflects the continued high demand for real estate in one of New York City's most desirable neighborhoods and also underscores the enduring appeal of properties with unique character, such as this one. Apartment in Greenwich Village, New York. In 2016, Seth Myers and his wife, Alexi, invested $7,500,000 in a stunning 10-room duplex on one of Manhattan's most coveted blocks, the northwest corner of Washington Square Park. This grand purchase signaled the couple's dedication to making the vibrant, historic West Village neighborhood their home. With an expansive 3,200 square feet to work with, they embarked on a year-long renovation, transforming the already impressive property into a true masterpiece of luxury and comfort. While the renovations were underway, the couple stayed in their nearby West Village apartment, which allowed them to design every detail of the new duplex to their exact specifications. The result is a home that blends classic New York charm with modern convenience, crafted to provide both ample space and privacy for their family. The layout of the duplex is as thoughtfully designed as it is grand. At the center of the home, a large, open-concept living and dining room serves as the main gathering space. This room, designed for both formal entertaining and relaxed family time, features a wood-burning fireplace that adds warmth and character. A second sitting area also boasts its own wood-burning fireplace, enhancing the home's cozy and welcoming ambiance. These fireplaces, coupled with the rich oak floors and high-beamed ceilings, create a timeless appeal that echoes the building's historical architecture. The eat-in kitchen is another highlight, designed to be both functional and elegant. With enough space for casual dining, it offers a comfortable and inviting setting for family meals or morning coffee. The kitchen layout has been optimized for the home chef, equipped with high-end appliances and plenty of counter space to make cooking both a pleasure and a breeze. One of the most remarkable aspects of this home is its abundance of natural light. With a total of 26 windows, every room is bathed in sunlight throughout the day offering stunning views of the surrounding West Village. In keeping with the luxurious nature of the building, residents enjoy an array of exclusive amenities. The building offers the convenience of a full-time doorman and an elevator operator, ensuring that residents' every need is attended to. These services add a layer of security and ease to daily life, allowing residents like Seth to come and go with minimal hassle for fitness and wellness, the building features a residence-only gym, meaning that Seth doesn't have to venture far to stay in shape. Unlike public gyms, this private facility offers a level of privacy and comfort that ensures residents can work out without the crowds. This gym is tailored for those who value both convenience and exclusivity, providing a quiet retreat from the busy world outside. House in Martha's Vineyard U.S. Seth Myers and Alexi Ash's new home in the quaint town of Chilmark on the famous island of Martha's Vineyard is a unique blend of modern design with a nod to timeless New England architecture. Nestled on a plot that directly borders Alexi Ash's parents' summer home, this retreat is a personal and family-centric haven. The property reflects a thoughtful, 
contemporary twist on classic New England style while celebrating the natural surroundings of Martha's Vineyard. The home's exterior, with its brightly colored cedar planks, is a departure from the more traditional muted cedar tones typical of the area. This choice injects a fresh, modern vibe into the architecture, giving it a striking contrast to the classic New England landscape. However, the structure retains a sense of the past. Its frame is constructed from reclaimed wood, much of which is intentionally left exposed inside. This approach gives the interior spaces a rich patina and a character that feels aged yet timeless. The house was completed in 2022, a project shaped during the pandemic by Ariel Ash and Reynaldo Leandro, who had the freedom to bring their creative vision to life. The architects embraced the opportunity to blend form and function in a space designed to honor both family and artistry. Outside, original boulders from the property are artfully placed across the lawn, echoing the rugged New England landscape. A classic stone wall stretches the length of the yard, evoking a sense of heritage and place in harmony with the home's contemporary design. Stepping inside, guests are welcomed by a blend of gray stone tile and warm French oak floors that flow seamlessly into the heart of the home. At the center lies a thoughtfully designed kitchen, almost concealed as a built-in wall rather than a standalone space. With cleverly hidden elements like a sink and refrigerator, the kitchen is a modern take on functionality, focusing more on a clean aesthetic than conventional kitchen design. This subtle integration allows the kitchen to be both central and unobtrusive, ideal for relaxed family gatherings or hosting friends. Moving upstairs, a pair of arched doors leads to the bedrooms, where subtle nautical themes bring a sense of playfulness to the design. In the boys' room, a porthole-like window offers views of their grandparents' house next door, a delightful reminder of the close-knit family connection. The room's bathroom mirror is crafted from a recycled ship porthole, continuing the maritime motif in a way that feels both whimsical and grounded. A bold red bunk bed brings a vibrant pop of color to the earthy, warm tones of the room, which are further accentuated by carefully chosen antique furniture and decor. Throughout the home, antiques lend a classic, time-worn charm, capturing the essence of Martha's Vineyard. Each room holds treasures that resonate with the island's history and add a sense of character to the space. The result is a home that feels deeply personal yet inherently connected to the heritage of the island, a modern sanctuary infused with history, style, and a true sense of place. Philanthropy. Throughout his career, Myers has lent his support to numerous charitable organizations, using his platform to raise awareness and inspire positive change across various causes. One of the key organizations that Myers has supported is the Mia Hamm Foundation, this national nonprofit is dedicated to improving the lives of bone marrow transplant patients and their families, while also creating more opportunities for young women to engage in sports. Founded by soccer legend Mia Hamm, the foundation works tirelessly to raise funds for bone marrow research and help those affected by life-threatening blood diseases. In addition to its focus on health, the foundation has a strong commitment to encouraging young girls to pursue athletic endeavors, providing them with the resources and mentorship to succeed. Another major cause close to Myers's heart is environmental conservation. He has long been a supporter of the Natural Resources Defense Council, NRDC, a nonprofit organization that has been at the forefront of environmental protection since its founding in 1970. With the help of over a million members, scientists, and activists, the NRDC works to create and enforce policies that address critical environmental issues. These include combating global warming, reducing the presence of toxic chemicals in the environment, advancing renewable energy sources, restoring oceans, and protecting wildlife. 
The NRDC's efforts also extend globally, particularly in China, where the organization works to help the country adopt more sustainable practices. Meyer's philanthropy also extends to human rights and social justice causes. One such organization he has supported is the Somali Mom Foundation, an organization that aims to end human trafficking and sexual slavery, particularly in Southeast Asia. Led by the Cambodian activist Somali Mom, the foundation works to identify and address the root causes of human trafficking, providing resources for survivors and supporting efforts to combat this global issue. The foundation's reach extends beyond Southeast Asia, with the ambition to expand its operations worldwide. By supporting this cause, Myers has helped shine a light on one of the most pressing human rights issues of our time, raising awareness and providing support to those working to end this horrific practice. Another significant organization that has benefited from Myers' philanthropic efforts is Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, one of the world's leading cancer treatment and research institutions. Myers has been involved in efforts to raise funds for cancer research, a cause that is deeply personal for many. These are just a few examples of the many organizations that Seth Myers has supported throughout his career. His philanthropic work spans a wide range of causes, from health and human rights to environmental conservation and youth empowerment. By using his fame and platform to promote these causes, Myers has shown that his influence goes beyond the world of entertainment, and he continues to make a positive impact in the lives of many. Personal life. Over the years, he has maintained a relatively private yet open approach to his relationships and interests, offering glimpses into his life outside of the studio. Myers's personal life took a significant turn in 2013 when he became engaged to his longtime girlfriend, Alexi Ash. The two had been dating for five years before Myers popped the question in July 2013. Ash, a successful attorney, has worked extensively in the legal field, particularly as an assistant district attorney in Brooklyn, where she was assigned to the Sex Crimes Bureau. The couple's relationship has been described as strong and supportive, with Myers often expressing his admiration for Ash, both personally and professionally. The couple married shortly after their engagement on September 1, 2013, in a Jewish ceremony in Martha's Vineyard. Although Myers himself is not Jewish, his wife Alexi is, and their children have been raised in the Jewish faith. This blending of cultures is a significant part of their family identity, and it was something Myers discussed openly during an interview with Jake Tapper on Late Night in 2018. Myers explained that, although he is not Jewish, he embraced the traditions and practices of his wife's faith, reflecting his respect for her background and their shared values as a family. Their son, Axel, for instance, carries the middle name Strahl in honor of Alexei's grandparents, both Holocaust survivors, a meaningful tribute to his wife's heritage. The couple's family grew over the next few years with the birth of their first son, Ash Olson Myers, on March 27, 2016, at Lenox Hill Hospital. This marked a new chapter in Myers' life, one that included navigating fatherhood while managing the demands of his career. Their second son, Axel Strahl Myers, was born a couple of years later on April 8, 2018. The birth of Axel was particularly memorable as it took place in the lobby of their apartment building, an unexpected and humorous situation that Myers would later joke about on his show. Myers shared even more personal news with his audience on November 24, 2021, when he announced the birth of his daughter, Adelaide Ruth Myers. This announcement, made during a segment of Late Night's Corrections, was another joyful milestone for the family. Myers' decision to share such moments with his audience shows how connected he feels to his fans, allowing them to be a part of his family's milestones in a way that feels both intimate and relatable. Beyond his family life, 
Myers has always been open about his interests and influences. A self-proclaimed sports fan, he follows several teams, primarily from Boston and Pittsburgh. Among his favorites are the Boston Red Sox, Boston Celtics, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Pittsburgh Penguins. His love for these teams, particularly the Boston-based ones, connects him to his roots, as Myers was born in Evanston, Illinois, but grew up in New Hampshire and attended college in Chicago, both locations where passionate sports cultures run deep. Myers' life, both on and off screen, reflects a balance between personal passions and professional success. His commitment to family and his willingness to discuss personal milestones publicly demonstrates a level of openness that has endeared him to many of his fans. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed Seth's lavish lifestyle, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the world's top celebrity lifestyle updates. Share this video with your friends and let us know in the comments what lifestyle you'd like us to cover next. Goodbye.